Hello. This is Andrew Quitmeyer. <laughs> 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 I am Tom Strait. I'm James Hill. We're gonna investigate some piles. For a long time, the pile has illuminated mankind. It's true. And defied him at the same time. We're gonna tackle the subject. We're gonna mount every pile in America. No piles can be without us. Left behind. Let's do it, boys. Let's go down. Pop down. Well, that was fun. <laughs> you all have a safe journey, and that everybody that y'all talk to, that perhaps y'all can always remember that God has a plan. Just like y'all made a map from when y'all left to come down here, God has a map just for y'all too, and that's the map of life. Do y'all mind if we have a word of prayer? Yeah. Let's just keep going west. I like west, but... Like yeah, south. west is cool. We should definitely go west. South? Scary. And then go south a bit. It's a fucking, like, fucking right next to the south. Yeah. Like, I just want to completely know. avoid, like, Tennessee. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're definitely not going southeast. What else, man? Yeah, I know. That's why I didn't think it. Yeah. And if we go to Louisiana, we're sure to get raped. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like take Mississippi down. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, that way, if we ever need a shower, we can just hop on in. During our journey, we're encountering many hills and many bluffs. Some would pass these off as piles. I could pass them off as piles at one point in time, but not now. These are piles that have turned. These are piles that have given in. To be a true pile, it has to be dynamic, moving, mobile. These are nothing. These are shallow in their density. This this is a reenactment. I would like I would like to order a cup of water, please. Just a cup of water. Oh my dear, 11 cents. That is a pile of money, I would say. I'm gonna go drink out of the sink. For long times, Dairy Queens have been a pile of commercialism. Mount it, time! Can you find the friend hidden behind the pile? Ladies and gentlemen, we have just encountered a major blow to our process. We have hit a fake pile. A fake pile. It's not real. It's not a real pile. Do you have questions that you ask? Or yeah, yeah. I'm going to ask you some questions if you want. Sure. Okay. Can, can we ask you something later? You totally can. Okay. Yeah, just keep the ideas flowing. Oh, <laughs> I love this. What, what's your favorite type of pile? We get reports of a pile, day one. Here we go, come on. There it is. Holy shit! Who the fuck are you? Get out! Go! Oh, shit! Yeah, I was gonna say blinding is not a good thing. Stab Tom! Stab Tom! Stab Tom! Woo! Stab Jimmy! Ah. In blinded, the car! Blinded driver, dude. Blind the driver! <laughs> blind the driver! I don't know if it's a pile. So. Oh no, no, those things are piles. Yeah. We should look at them. Some midnight pileage. Piles at night. It's a day two, I guess. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, officially day two. It's seven in the morning. We're beginning. The lovely pile. Food gets more nutritious. It's piled on. Please join me in the hack. A hacky sack is like a pile that has been captured and brought to us. And we must control. These are piles at their very minimum. Only three objects are necessary for any pile. And these things elaborate that quite quickly. Yeah. As our Indian brothers found out so many years ago. Some things just weren't meant to be. Oh shit. <laughs> Screw you, Jimmy! <laughs> just in the pile. You ready? Yeah. Just don't land on my head. Rock pile? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mine's chocolate chip cookies. That's like pretty good. Pile, chocolate chip yeah. cookies. <laughs> With a glass of milk. Okay, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you're it looks like it's pretty private over there. Once more, the piles have eluded us. They're always behind bars. Free the piles, America. Set them free. Just filming some holes. We gotta capture all sides of the story. are most often found in the pile form as it's nature's most efficient design. What are you gonna say? <laughs> there she goes. Uh, Alright Linda, what you got? Well I was thinking of hay pile, you know? Hay pile. <laughs> hay piles. I grew up on farm, you know? Well look at him okay. you say that. Okay. I I love the pile of blessings that God gives us that you know, and that pile, and that pile can just get, and I mean, it, that's all I'm saying, is that that pile can be as big as we allow it to be. Matt, as our pile guide to the Rice University, what's your favorite kind of pile? Heterogeneous or homogeneous? I like the homogeneous pile, because I like everything. What a gay tree house. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> you can expect it once more. Multiple layers. How snow, that's a good answer. Oh, yeah. Thank you for helping. Oh, I had your turn. <laughs> <laughs> snow, that sounds good. It's time to get a little background on your host to this documentary. Jimmy, if you could be any kind of snack food, what would you be and why? Uh, I'd have to go with uh, chocolate ice cream because it's always dynamic. It's melting all the time, but it's still good if you eat it when it's ice cream or when it's melted. Always good. Okay, Tom, uh, if you could be any kind of snack food, what would you be and why? I, I gotta think about it, give me a minute. Okay, um, well personally, I would be graham crackers because they come in a really big package, but if you get a nice, big, tall glass of milk with it, then you can still eat them all, you know? And that's like me. <laughs> so, so okay, Tom, do you think anything yet? Yeah, I, I think I'd be um, Oreos, because they're tasty. Damn it, Tom. Good morning, America. This is day three on our trip. We're in Houston now, and this is a pile. I got some change you can have if you want to be in our documentary. Yeah? Yeah. I don't want a documentary. Okay, here. What do I say? 